Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today we're talking about Wi-Fi, how to speed up your Wi-Fi, how to select the proper channels, and a useful application that will help you select the proper settings. That way you can get the best out of the internet. So the app we're looking at is called Wi-Fi Analyzer Open Source. All you need to do is go to your Google Play Store. You should be able to download it directly. Today I am demoing on my Z Fold 3, but any phone, any Android phone that you have should work properly. For iOS devices, I found some similar applications, however, they do cost money, so that's something I'll have to look into and maybe I'll do a follow-up video for you guys. We're going to go through the application first, but afterwards, we're going to go over to my network and see what we can do to make my network a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So in the application, first menu is going to be access points now within this page you're going to see all the access points that's available or that your device can see so you can see the first one up top it is highlighted gray that means that's the access point or the network that i am currently on very important to note it also lists them from strongest to weakest so if you look up top you can see triple m's t-mobile and the signal strength on that is minus 31 decibel important again to know is that the higher the decibel the less the signal strength. So the next one is a hidden network. It's negative 38, minus 46, 47, 50, and we can go down to the bottom. You can see the colors start to change and more than likely these are devices that are across the street or down the street that my phone can still pick up. So very important page gives you the network, gives you the MAC address, gives you the strength, also gives you the security type. So if you click on it, you can see that this is WPA2. If you click OK, now if you scroll down, let's say to this hidden network right here, you can see, you can see it is WPA2 as well. However, it does have WPS enabled, which makes it less secure. And if you guys don't know what WPS, it stands for Wi-Fi Protected Setup. Now, if you have a router, you might have seen it. I'm not sure how many people use it. I personally don't use it because within that time frame, it does allow for other people to connect to your network. But what it is, is if you have that on your router, you press the button and it makes it easier for you to connect your device to your router. All right, so that's the first page. Next page is gonna be your channel rating. So if we click on that, if you look up top, guys, you have two options here. You have between your 2.4 and your five gigahertz. So let's start with the 2.4. Now 2.4, you see you have channels one through 11. Not a lot of channels available on 2.4 network. That's why a lot of people really are moving away from that. Me personally, the only thing I use my 2.4 for is my smart devices. So smart switches, anything that, that needs network connectivity but doesn't really require a lot. Uh, for other things such as streaming, such as my main desktop, I either connect wired in or I go to the five gigahertz network. But just looking at all these channels, the red just means that this channel is pretty much crowded and it's not recommended for you to, to add another device to any of these channels. So uh, I think it just changed. Let me refresh the page. So all the channels currently are full. So what that means is that if you see in the middle list channel one through 11 to the right of that, it gives you how many access points are actually on that channel. You can see channel one has two access points. Channel two, three, and four also has two access points. When you go to channel five and six, you have five on those channel nine you have eight access points on the same frequency channel nine you have eight devices and channel 10 11 you have seven access points on that same channel so main problem with 2.4 gigahertz is that the channels get overcrowded and overcrowded means interference and means eventually a slowdown in your network this just kind of puts it in perspective of how crowded 2.4 gigahertz network is all right so 5 gigahertz is going to be a lot better you can see it gives you the readout again and it gives you the recommendations up top so channels 100 104 108 112 those already have a device on them uh, even though it's showing yellow or orange um, still only has one access point on each channel you can see you have a lot more channels that has zero if you go down 149 153 157 has two devices on there or two access points on there so you do have a lot more channels to choose from and that's why five gigahertz is going to be a lot better you can see the difference that the five gigahertz has a lot more channels to pick from than the 2.4 gigahertz network and i'll show you guys how to switch the channels here in a little bit so here we are on the signal graph and you can see triple m's t-mobile if you go to channel 100 to 144 you can see there's also something on 100 you can see that 116 through 140 144 is completely empty so that's definitely something you want to keep in mind the higher channels are 149 you can see there's something there there's a hidden network um, on there as well 
but 165 through 177 is also pretty open so this is where you can kind of have a visual of where you might want to go and then you can make a decision whether you want to jump over to that channel or not all right so next we're going to have our time graph it's going to show you the channels um in real time basically it's going to show you the speed it's going to show you the scan count um it's going to give you your signal strengths and it is color coded so you can kind of see up top triple mt mobile uh, it's going to be in blue you also have a hidden network which is in green and for some reason that started off and then it just dropped all the way down we have uh triple mt mobile again i uh, do have multiple five gigahertz network and i'll show you guys when to jump over but uh, just a graph real time showing your scan count as well as your signal strength uh, as far as the decibel so before we jump out of the application a couple other things you want to keep in mind if you hit on the menu right there you can kind of sort so if you just want to look at wpa2 and wpa3 you can go ahead and apply that and it should narrow it down and this is the same for your access point so if you click on the drop down there if you only wanted to view your 5 gigahertz network you can unselect 2.4 and 6 gigahertz then you can click apply and only the 5 gigahertz network will show last thing is the menu you have uh, the four menus that we just looked at you do have the option to export you have your available channels so if you click on that it tells you in a glance 2.4 what's available any 6 gigahertz what's available as well you have your vendors right there so whatever manufacturers of those devices and if you go down to your settings you do have some options you can change the scan interval so right now it's set to every five seconds so if you wanted to scan every three you can go ahead and do so access points by name you can select ssid channel virtual access point display high graph legend display time legend display dark theme um, keep screen on so you do have a couple options there where you can go ahead and just play with the settings so enough about the app let's go over to my computer and we'll just see what we can do as far as just making some changes here so i can show you my setup however at your house you'll probably have a different router so what i recommend doing is just do a quick google search find your router manufacturer hopefully you already set the username and password if you don't you will have a default username and password that you can go ahead and log in and make these changes now for me i am using the t-mobile internet as my main gateway but also have a Synology router connected where I route most of my devices through now if you have a Netgear for instance you can simply search how to log into a Netgear router or something like that it'll tell you different ways to get in so you can either enter routerlogin.net or put in 192.168.1.1 and it should bring you into the login page and from then some will have a default username and password others if you've changed it that's what your, your username and password will be so in the comments let me know if you guys are having issues logging into your router um, but let's start with a t-mobile gateway so the default login page for this is 192.168.12.1 I already logged in so it didn't ask for a password this time but if I go to my network go to Wi-Fi networks and you can see I have 2.4 and let me just go ahead and put in my credentials and this is not default by the way I did go ahead and change those so I do have my 2.4 gigahertz network and I do have my 5 gigahertz network as well now within this it gives you a lot of information but what we're looking for is the channel you can see this 2.4 gigahertz is on channel 1 now, I do have the option to change it to 6 or 11 or auto but by looking at the graph it looked like both of those are all of those 2.4 gigahertz um, channels were accounted for so for this it really doesn't make any sense um, to change it so I'm just gonna leave that as is let's go over to the 5 gigahertz so here we are in the 5 gigahertz and you can see uh, I do have bandwidth set and it's maxed out at 80 megahertz but important it tells you the channel number right there right now I am on channel 36 uh, let me go ahead and jump over to the app and see if channel 36 if I'm the only one on that channel over there look like channel 36 I'm the only one within that area I don't see any other access points so I am gonna leave it there for now let's jump over to the Synology router and like I said if you guys don't have a Synology router this will not be helpful that's why it's important to, to kind of research which router you have and um, go through those um, manuals so click on wireless you can see here my 5 gigahertz is up top my 2.4 gigahertz is at the bottom 5 gigahertz is on channel 108 so let me go ahead and check out 108 all right so looking at this look right. like there's an overlap right there so what i want to do is just change that channel uh, maybe a little bit higher so look like 56 should be good so let me just change that to 56 i'm gonna hit apply and it looks like my t-mobile is overlapped with the hidden network so maybe i want to change that as well so let me go back to t-mobile on channel 36 
let's go a little bit higher we'll go let's go to channel 64 and save changes just give it the time for it to refresh. I'm sure the router will, will do a soft reboot or something just to apply those changes. Now, same thing for the 2.4. This one's on channel 11. But again, if we go to the 2.4, uh, you can see everything is basically full. Like 2.4 is, I wouldn't recommend using it unless that's your only option. So I can't make any changes that would make sense. For the most part, it just looks like everything is overlapping anyway. So. We'll just apply that and we'll just get out of here. So that's it for this video. Like I said, this is a quick run through how to improve your Wi-Fi. Uh, changing the channels is, is probably the simplest method um, to do this. Uh, if you guys have any additional questions about the app, drop it in the comments. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.